Receptor tyrosine kinases are membrane receptors that have a hormone or other signal binding site on the external plasma membrane surface and a kinase activity in the cytoplasmic domain. Because they have their own phosphorylation activity, they don't need G proteins in order to transduce an external chemical or hormonal signal. The known receptor kinases all catalyze phosphorylation of target proteins not at serines or threonines, but at tyrosine side chains hence the name receptor tyrosine kinase. This slide shows how receptor tyrosine kinases are activated when signal molecules, here called ligands, bind to the receptor domain. The word ligand is simply a generic term for any effector molecule that binds to a receptor. After ligand binding to monomeric membrane receptors, two ligand-bound monomers come together. This activates a kinase activity that phosphorylates each monomer at several tyrosines, as suggested here. When phosphorylated, the entire hormone receptor complex acts as a protein kinase to phosphorylate intracellular proteins, shown here a second ago, binding to the activated receptor, thereby transducing the signal information from the cell exterior into the interior of the cell and generating, ultimately, an appropriate cellular response. Here's a well-known example of how a receptor tyrosine kinase actually mediates a mitogenic response, that is, how it causes cells to start dividing. It begins with ligand binding and autophosphorylation of the dimerized receptor. As we've just seen, the activated kinase domain recruits first an adapter protein from the cytoplasm, navy blue here, and then a protein called the RAS, RAS, RAS activating protein shown in what, royal blue, I guess? In this state, a GDP-bound inactive membrane protein called RAS associates with the RAS activating protein, resulting in GTP displacing the GDP on the RAS protein. The RAS protein is now itself active. An inactive enzyme, oddly but appropriately as we'll see, named MAP kinase kinase kinase, then binds to the receptor RAS complex, as just happened in the animation, and itself becomes an active enzyme and thereby an amplification cascade begins. Let's look at the rest of this cascade. Next, MAP kinase 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 phosphorylates MAP kinase kinase, which then phosphorylates MAP kinase, which in turn enters the nucleus and catalyzes the phosphorylation of a transcription factor that activates genes ultimately leading to cell division, as illustrated in the animation that just blew by you here. You may wish to review this animation to help you digest what I just told you.